Hello YouTube! Before we start, I'm just gonna remind you that this car only have 165 horsepower, which is really low in this game. So it's already hard to drift with this car, even without the grip tuning. And the fact that we're using sport tires will make it even harder to tune. And for this video, we'll talk about transmission. Now, there are two main things in this transmission settings which are differential and gearing. Differential is a thing that allows the rear wheels to rotate at different speed. Having differential set at zero means that your rear left and right wheels are allowed to rotate at different speed without limitation, meaning that the outer wheel is allowed to rotate at full speed while the inner wheel is not moving at all. Here's the example. Having differential set at 1 means that both your rear wheels are only allowed to rotate at the same speed. Here's the example. Now, this lock differential is what we need to drift. Having differential set at 0.5 means that the inside wheel on your rear is allowed to rotate with 50% speed of your outside wheel minimum. It cannot go below that, so if the outer wheel rotates at 50 km per hour, that means the inner wheel will not rotate below 25 km per hour, no matter what. Same goes with 0 0.3, 0 0.4, or 0 0.6 can go below 30%, 40%, and 60% accordingly. Now, while we need a lock differential to drift, we don't need it to be fully locked. In fact, if you've seen my car's tuning video, you will never see me fully locking the differential. That's because the higher the value on the differential, the harder the inner wheel try to push out, the harder it is to control, and the slower it is to build speed on a transition because the force is kinda locked to one direction but that doesn't mean that fully locking the differential is wrong because the higher the value on the differential means that it's easier to initiate the drift and it's easier to hit bigger angle on your drift because like I said, the inner wheel will push out harder this helps a lot especially in lower powered cars Next up, we got this gearing. Now, these values on the right side, from gear ratio to reverse gear, have the same explanation. These values controls the acceleration and top speed for your gearing. Basically, higher value means faster acceleration but lower top speed, while lower value means slower acceleration but higher top speed. The difference is that the value on gear ratio controls the acceleration and top speed for all gears, while the value of the individual gears from first gear to reverse gear controls their own acceleration and top speed. Basically, gear ratio tuning and individual gears tuning are complementary to each other. In fact, most of the tunings are complementary to each other. And last one, we got this gear shifting delay. Well, this is a pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it sets how long it takes to shift gears. Basically, the shorter the better. Now, if we look at the engine, that's how fast we accelerate from 0 to 100. Okay, now, we reduce the shifting time. See, we accelerate faster. And now, we increase the shifting time. Well, now we accelerate slower, so yeah, shoulder is better. Next, we are going to try to tune this car's gearing, but before we do that, we need to actually test the car first.
Alright, judging from the sound of the engine, it seems like this car doesn't have strong enough acceleration and we can only use up to 4th gears because this car doesn't have enough power to hit the 5th gear and that's what we're going to fix. Now, if we check back at the engine, we can see that we got slower 0 to 100 and it's not exactly a bad thing because, well, we're drifting here, not drag racing. Okay, this feels right for now. I mean, you can clearly hear the engine already revved harder, like it has more to give. But instead of giving it more top speed, we give it more acceleration. This hard drive at the top will help us maintain speed mid-drift. Now that I explained everything I know about transmission tuning, I hope that you can tune your own transmission to perfectly suit your own playstyle. Have fun tuning your cars and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye! Oh wait, one more thing, subscribe so you won't miss the next one. Okay bye!